Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is JD with JD Reviews. I had to get this review out uh, while it was still fresh on my mind. Uh, this review is going to be about endurance, um, extended car warranty. I've seen the reviews on YouTube and Google, uh, just about how the car warranties are scams. I took my 2013 Nissan Sentra into the dealership today. I waited the 30-day period, like they said, which I can make a claim. I don't too much drive a car much because it's up there in miles, and I've recently been hearing some clicking sound in the front end of the car. So I took it into the car, I mean, took it into the dealership, they called me back, I gave them my, uh, the claim number for endurance, and my contract number, and um, the guy called me back and said, um, we called, we contacted endurance, and they will not cover anything. He said that, um, they said, you're not, you're outside of your grace period, which I said that, that sounds about right, but he said, I needed, needed to also drive 1,000 miles on the car. So I said, okay. You know, instead of me throw, you know, throwing away $112 a month on a car, an extended warranty that's just sitting there, because whether I had the warranty or not, I don't drive my vehicle that much. I don't have that many places to go. Uh, and then I'm in between cars right now. So I said, okay, I'm going to call and cancel. So I called them the first time. We got disconnected. I called them the second time. I got through to the second individual. I said, hey, I want to cancel. Click. Hung up on me a second time. I called the third time. I said, hey, I want to cancel. They sent me, they pushed, put me through to the second person again. Because the first person takes your information and patches you through. Um, I didn't get anyone. And then the call just disconnected. So the third, the fourth time I tried, I got through the fr to the first, the first person, and then click. As soon as I said cancel, click, click, they hung up on me again. So I called back a, a fifth time, and I politely gave my name and my information and everything. And she said, "I see you've called back multiple times. Why?" I said, "Well, we we keep getting disconnected." She said, okay, I'm going to three-way you in this time to make sure you get through. And I appreciate the lady that did that because I finally was able to get through and no one hung up on me this time. And they said, Mr. Gabe, I said, um, JD, what's the reason for your call? For your call? I said, I want to cancel. So the lady said, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Hear that. You've only had the policy for uh, one, two months. What's the reason for the cancel? I said, well, because I went beyond my grace period which I thought I, I, all, all I needed to do and uh, to get to make a claim because the, my car needs repairs it really does and she said um, she said well if you look at your declaration page it says a thousand miles in your grace period of 30 days I said okay I said I still like to cancel then she gets smart with me and nasty with me and says, okay, so you're just going to park the car and never drive it again? I said, well, that's my decision. I haven't decided what I want to do with it yet. Then she, started, then she proceeded to try to over-talk me and try to push or force the policy on me and by saying, well, let's just talk about all the facts. You know, you don't have all the facts yet. Let me just talk about all the facts. I said, ma'am, I, I want to cancel, period. Are you sure, sir? So you're just gonna you, you you're never gonna you're never gonna drive that car again. I said, ma'am, just cancel my policy. That's all I want. I don't want to talk about anything. I don't want to know all the facts. Just cancel my policy. So if if uh, my, any of my fans or anybody find this on YouTube, the stories are true. I have not found one one uh, extended warranty that is good. I had a roommate that had car shield. They did the same thing to him. They wouldn't honor what they said they would do. So I'm sure had I drove a thousand miles they probably would have said well it's on your decoration page you have to drive two thousand miles or whatnot don't get no extended warranties on these vehicles um I hate that I have a it's a Sen Nissan Sentra so it has a CVT engine to it I would not get any vehicles that have a CVT engine to it uh because the vehicles are only good for sixty thousand miles 
after that the warranty is up because they know the parts are no longer any good and the CVT engines to me are made cheaply um, but this is a review about endurance I would not get endurance I paid a, a onboarding fee of um, 220 230 with a monthly installment payment of 112 you know if I was able to get the car fixed up fine but the car now has lots of issues with it. I'm upside down in the loan. So my advice and my takeaway is um, any first time uh, car buyers, do not go for the buy, do not go for the no money down on the brand new cars. That's how they get, get, rid, get rid of their inventory and get you stuck in the loan. Um, don't go with uh, an extended car warranty or um, endurance or car shield or whatever these other um, companies are. It's, I mean, I'm out of $380, which I'm glad I stopped it today, but it's not worth it. Extended car warranties aren't worth it. Not in my, I have not heard of anything that would be um, decent as far as extended car warranties. All right, that's enough of me ranting on. Apologize I haven't been on here for that much. Um, Definitely follow, like, comment underneath this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything else that I could um, start posting on. All right, guys, take care.